This is crazy. This is the Saturday before Labor Day and this is Lake Somerville. Today we are hiking the Birch Creek State Park, also known as the Birch Creek Unit at Somerville State Park. And our objective today is not to pass out on the trail, but we also have a new lens and Dean's going to be testing that out. And we're going to see if we can get to the Eagle's Nest, which is uh, the, the path we've chosen. It's a couple of miles in just to get to the Eagle's Nest and then a couple of miles back. The park still has some heavy leftover damage from Hurricane Harvey, so not all of the trails are open. None of the equestrian facilities are open and they are still reopening some of the overnight camping facilities for non-equestrian use. I'm going to give you kind of a quick overview of Somerville State Park. This is for the Birch Creek unit. Be sure to come back next week for a little more of an in-depth review of Somerville State Park with the Nails Creek unit. The Birch Creek unit has about 95 campsites. Some are 30 amp, some are 50 amp. There are 10 equestrian sites, a couple of primitive sites, and some group camping sites. Other activities in the area include boating, fishing, swimming, and exploring nearby Brenham, Texas, which is home to the world famous Bluebell Creamery. For the record, those are black-headed vultures. There were also a couple of turkey vultures in that batch. Oh, it's hot out here today. I'm not sure what the, the high is gonna be today, but we're also really close to the lake, so it's also humid. According to the park ranger, the uh, Native Americans that used to live here, the Tonkawa, used this area as a, a kind of mortar and, and pestle for grinding their food, which is why there's a hole in the sandstone behind me. Dean's used up half of his water. 
Uh, we took a quick break over by the the mortar the sandstone over there. We're gonna keep going. I've got about a quarter of my bottle left. So when I finish off my first bottle of water, then we will turn around and take the first exit to a campground and take the easy way back. drawbacks of being an out of shape individual vlogging about hiking in state parks is usually by the time you get toward the end of the hike you are so hot tired sweaty that you don't really want to vlog much but I'm trying to get out of the habit of doing that so sorry you might get to see us pretty hot pretty sweaty but I think we're coming up on the end of the hike here and I think the Osmos just about done too it's been giving me uh, a little bit of trouble keeps jerking the camera on me and then turning off and then I can turn it back on and it'll stay on until I turn it off again. So I guess I got to figure out what's wrong with it. This is crazy. This is the Saturday before Labor Day and this is Lake Somerville. There's like nobody here. And there's a couple of sea dews out there having a good time on the lake and that's about it. Oh, after a three mile hike, it feels really good to take your shoes off <laughs> and step out into the lake, even if it's just for a couple of minutes. It's, it's kind of a sandy, rocky bottom. I'm kind of used to, to lakes that have a lot of uh, invasive plants in them, a lot of uh, underwater foliage, but no, it's pretty, pretty sandy and the water's a little on the warm side. <laughs> <laughs> 